Hello friends, welcome to the session again and it gives us a great pleasure to meet with you. Um, we have been doing wonderful um, uh, topics, I mean we have been going through wonderful topics uh, that uh, had been very helpful to most of you is what I have been hearing as a feedback. Um, at the same time, the help that I need from each one of you is uh, please uh, reach out to us with any specific topics or sessions that you would be needing and you're you're in desperate need of, of help please let us know uh, it's always a pleasure to help you right welcome to the session again and we are here talking about yet another topic a very important topic um, i'm very confident that i keep picking these kind of topics which are either hindrance to your progress or growth in life um, or your desperate need of working on that uh, specific aspect of your life to improve the quality of your life um, and then which helps you to take you on the better side. So either of these things we had been always uh, trying to do and um, I will continue to do that. Therefore, let's see our best. Um, I mean, we will try always to do our best to bring the best. <laughs> okay, cool. So today's topic is about loneliness. Yeah, I've, we have spent a lot of time in preparing the slide that you see right in front of you, all sad faces, lonely faces, and um, what to say, faces that are depressed. And uh, naturally, you know, people tend to think um, always loneliness brings some sort of uh, depression. Not necessarily it is true always. Some people love loneliness. Good example are, um, you know, uh, scientists like Thomas Alva Edison and... Uh, Isaac Newton and even Albert Einstein for that matter and so many other people they want to isolate themselves from the world therefore they could focus more they could you know uh, gain more attention uh, concentration sorry um, as for me I always love to be lonely especially during the study holidays I want to stay away from distraction therefore um, I get more time uh, to focus on my studies Right, but not always right once the studies are over then i get uh, along with the friends and get into sports and get into all sorts of you know activities which which is going to keep me engaged so don't get into a kind of an obsessive uh, feeling or um, obsessive conclusion that okay always it's going to be a problem if i'm going to be lonely not necessarily right that's where we're going to help you uh, with the facts um, that uh, look look at the neighbors ch children they're always playing in the streets and all that that is their interest but you may be a kind of an indoor person again don't refrain from going for walking or be part of any uh, sports and events and stuff like that but the point here is you cannot judge your behavior or character and attitude based on how what the other children are doing right or other adults are doing right some people may be a traveler um, maybe into traveler uh, or traveling uh, spree or tra traveler freak or traveling freak, right? It doesn't mean that you also need to travel like them, right? But you taking a break and going for a holiday with your family once in a quarter or once in uh, half year, uh, half yearly, uh, it also means the same to you. So don't compare and come to this conclusion, right? Now there are few facts about loneliness. In fact, other I would say surprising facts about loneliness right uh, there are six or seven things which i want to uh, talk through and then we will step into this session just to set the context you know so, so you know give you the foretaste of what topic we are talking today um loneliness does not depend on how many friends or relationships you have absolutely right loneliness depend entirely on the you know the the, the quality of your relationship you may have one or two people uh, uh what, what is proud for you to uh, what is good for you to say you have 20 friends and none of them improve the quality of your life none of them have that kind of intimate relationship with whom you can share your personal feelings and etc what is the point in saying that you have 20 friends rather you have just one friend and with whom you can share all your feelings and get the right possible advice and who leads you in the right direction then you know you take a lot of pleasure in that so that's exactly what we are trying to say. So another statistic says more than 60% of lonely people are married. You'll be surprised, right? You always think this is the kind of, you know, a teenager's problem before marriage and all that happens. No, no, no. 40% of people only are in that category. 60% of them are 
uh, in the category of you know married uh, when married couples no longer share their deepest feelings that's the common statistics and trend uh, conducted by stanford and thoughts and experiences <clears throat> feelings deepest feelings they don't tend to share with one another which can leave them feeling disconnected right and they end up uh, you know divorce and permanent separation now, people in such relationships truly believe um, their spouse cannot offer them the deep connection uh, they would like so they end up in such kind of you know conclusions and uh, the third important thing is like loneliness kind of distorts our perceptions um, of our relationships so studies have found that merely uh, asking people to recall times they felt lonely was sufficient to make them devalue their relationships right so don't try to rewind the tape hey during those during my childhood days i used to be lonely that itself will keep you depressed right making matters worse their friends might be hesitant to connect as well uh, because why uh, this person uh, he had such a background people may stay away from you so don't uh, rewind the tape too much so loneliness is contagious contagious you know right what pandemic situation no contagious it spreads across in social networks especially it's contagious loneliness as a clear stigma we tend to be able to spot and identify the lonely people uh, around us and one study found that over a six month period lonely people were pushed to the very um, periphery of i mean the peripheral or boundaries of social networks and surprisingly um, you know it became it spread more being pushed out into the cold in this way has a surprising effect on our bodies right you know cold weather how that body gets frozen etc and you need to put all warm clothes like that you push them into the social networking um, and uh, they start sharing their loneliness or lonely attitude and etc it impacts other people also doesn't mean you should stay away from them but you need to help them to bring them out of loneliness right um, loneliness makes our bodies feel as if they are under attack it gives you immense insecurity right watch out see again I, I keep telling you loneliness is not bad but then you need to mix it always being lonely you will feel that insecurity and then you will end up in any kind of you know idiotic or stupid ideas uh, that you want to that you want to that you don't want to get into right so chronic loneliness that is like persistent or consistent loneliness significantly increase our risk of cardiovascular disease heart disease right that's another study so try not to be always alone try not to be always lonely but loneliness is also needed so you get that privacy you get that private space but not always that's exactly the point um, and another fact is loneliness suppresses the functioning of our immune system immune system also so there is a biological effect also you don't believe me you are consult your family doctor they will help you understand see i told you right this is a very small world and we are a bunch of people where we need to support each other and help each other that's how the world functions right and human beings resist each other no i want support my boundary and all that you will die soon either biological problems or practical problems you will not have anybody to help right um, both medically psychologically physically so you have a problem right and loneliness is as dangerous as cigarette smoking that's all we are trying to say scientists have concluded that given all the drastic ways in which loneliness impacts our bodies it represents a greater risk for a long term health and longevity as you know cigarette smokers are there right on a longer run how it slowly kills it's like a you know slow poison right indeed studies have concluded that chronic loneliness increases our risk um an early death by 14 percentage which means what you are going to live 100 years you will lose 14 years you will live 80 86 years only you are going to live 60 years then you lose lose up approximately like you know 14 years and then uh, 14 percentages somewhere close to you know 50, you know 12 years something like that you lose so you don't want to lose your life having done nothing harmful uh, but by, by just one habit if your lifespan is reducing then really it needs some attention isn't it so I'm, I'm talking to you uh, on the facts, the surprising facts, right? Now, let's get into the session. I won't take much long. I will walk you through some of the things. Why are people lonely generally? What are the important reasons? See, lonely can happen, loneliness uh, can happen uh, due to various reasons, right? But some of the significant reasons are suddenly there is a change in school. What happens? You end up in a new environment, children, 
children and teenagers or they change the college or they for example in pandemic situation you work from home at least 68 percentage of, of of people have ended up in diverse um, in, in china especially there are more diverses being registered so globally why because they are not able to take this loneliness they always end up uh, seeing wife and wife seeing husband nothing wrong in that but i don't know why they hate so much or why they are not able to cope up so much probably because they are used to getting into office space and uh, working with colleagues and having coffee time lunch time having fun a short walk all these things they miss consistently for a, for a period of time it's going to be a year and year year plus right it's going to be 14 months at least in my case i've been working from home but how much you are getting engaged into other activities so for example i brought a brand new drums i have that passion for drumming drummer uh, was in my heart but it couldn't come out as practice therefore the, i started enrolling for a class and then i start uh, start started to engage i could get good quality time to go for a cool walk every day in the evening or morning right and i am able to spend time with my family with my daughter and uh, yeah and encourage her in her studies or whatever right have fun with the family so i think you have numerous ways to split your time there is no reason why work from home should make you idle or feel so sober or uh, kind of make you feel that you're all alone right not necessarily right uh, other circumstances could be you migrate from one uh, city to other city from maharashtra you went all the way to karnataka karnataka all the way to you went to andhra pradesh so you will feel there is a cultural change people speak in different language and all that you will feel almost being left out i had that experience um, during my teenage or early professional days i used to travel from one place to other place uh, completely inexperienced very young um, uh, i could only speak two three languages english was one of them but th that place english would not be there then you know, I ended up in severe um, infliction of feeling all alone. There is nobody to help. So you may go through that, right? So you need to make friends. You need to make efforts to learn that local language and stuff like that. And neighbors, you can stay connected and all that, right? Um, the next important reason is when you end a relationship. For example, you had a brawl. You had a fight, quarrel with your friend, broken up. Or with your girlfriend, you, bro you break up. You know, there is divorce between husband and wife, broken up that could cause you to feel you are absolutely lonely to find an alternate choice it could take decades even after you find an alternate choice it will still make you feel that kind of the dizzy feeling <laughs> what is that loneliness right um, these are the main reasons that we could think of why loneliness what are the symptoms um, sometimes you may not be able to understand or feel that you're lonely but with that symptoms you can you will be able to check whether the loneliness is causing this symptom or not so these symptoms i'm going to kind of uh, read it for you register it somewhere or try to write it down as a checklist and start taking cross mark ticking cross mark uh, ticking means it's uh, it's there and cross mark the more tick marks you see the more you are into loneliness you don't see any tick mark you're a very social person be happy stay like that consistently that's the important point Number one, you will see decreased energy. You will see that you are unable to focus or concentrate. I'm not going to call the numbers. I'm going to call out one after the other. The lack of concentration, you're unable to focus on anything. You, you are reading something, suddenly your thought goes towards that fight or quarrel, whatever you had, right? And uh, you will have insomnia, interrupted sleep. You won't be getting a solid sound sleep, right? You will be waking up, you will be woken up with the bad dreams or bad thoughts, etc., etc., right? Then, um, you have um, what is a decreased appetite right and feeling of um, you know self-doubt you're always in a wavering mindset nothing can consistently uh, you know uh, fall fall in your mind or stay, stay in your mind you'll be always in the doubtful state uh, you would have locked the door but you would walk to the end of the street come back and check and all, all these are part of the loneliness sim you know symbol right you have a tendency to get sick frequently why i told you, you know immune system will come down body aches and pains cardiac diseases i told this already anxiety feeling in anxious anxiousness or restlessness even for simple matters you will get into anxiety so you need to watch out on all of these right and you 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 want to increase shopping you will become a spendthrift why you have no one with whom you can spend time therefore you will end up in shopping and all that you will have no savings probably you will end up in debt you take you take loan and you will start 
traveling why because you just need a change and you will not have enough earning uh, to re, you know kind of repay and then you end up in a terrible problem you really need to get into all of these is what you should you know think through you know increase desire to watch movies um, or some people get into pornography addiction so you got to watch out on all of these right these are the symptoms if you are getting into one or more problems of this sort then you have a big problem of loneliness <laughs> diagnosis what is the remediation plan how do i fix this loneliness especially the chronic loneliness is it a specific mental health condition now don't look at yourself as a uh, sick person or something like that right however experts increasingly recognize the way loneliness can affect your physical and emotional health some of these which i have already spoken right if you have been feeling lonely and experience unexplained symptoms such as the above signs of uh, loneliness whatever i was you know given uh, right then definitely you need to consult a health professional or please share with your most uh, trusted sources like your own parents your wife or your husband and your friends those are the things which are going to help you right um, what are the chronic illness you can get into some of the things which i have spoken but some of the things chronic illness is different right uh, you can end up with terrible cholesterol level getting shot up loneliness don't ask me how all this happens right that's how the physical anatomy is built human anatomy human anatomy is not designed to stay away from human network simple right i told you this world is created for human beings and we need to live together understand each other um, you know be patient with each other love each other not that kind of lustful love opposite gender no no love love means kindness gentleness right and since you fail to do all of this what happens is high cholesterol level comes and emotional stress emotional distress and depression and then you need to be put into some rehabilitation center and then you need to be uh, you, and, and surprising facts are you become diabetic too right people think eating too much of sugar or drink having too much of coffee and all that makes them diabetic actually no loneliness is also one of the part significant reasons now don't tell me uh, oh i am not lonely so i can you know drink one liter of milk with uh, two kgs of sugar nothing like that right also watch on your diet what i'm trying to say is how much ever you watch on diet certain people end up complaining hey my sugar levels are not coming down my cholesterol levels are not coming down why because there is some other lifestyle change attitude change that is required of you so you need to think through it right you will end up in depression i told this and the other thing is like your sleep quality will be terribly impacted right um the study says that they cannot sleep for more than 2 hours and i know personally many friends of mine complaining that until 2 am they cannot sleep 2 to 3 am they sleep and then they wake up and again 5 am to 6 am and after that their sleep is gone right why mentally disturbed subconscious is rewinding all this kind of lonely depressions chronic loneliness right they increase stress level and all that so how to get this treated and how to come out of this and what are the lifestyle changes you expect uh, to fix this problem right the lifestyle changes is always pick uh, the right partner life life partner pick pick up the right partner pick up the right friends don't it's not about quality quantitative it's about qualitative pick one or two friends not 20 friends and all 20 will impose you know 200 problems in your mind and that will become even worse than loneliness so please watch out that also like volunteer yourself into community events social events charitable events when you start serving the poor needy downtrodden you go to orphanage visit those people something will really help you right and you will understand how better you are placed when you see people who are placed in a worse position than what you are that's why you need to get into these kind of events right try a new hobby right uh, cricket is not helping you football is not helping you try with badminton right you you need to kind of get engaged into some sort of sports why because that physical exertion of energy uh, will kind of implant the new energy to your mental state right that's you will feel somewhat energized although you will feel so absolutely fatigue in your body but mentally you will be all charged up you'll feel so fresh that's the beauty of sports get out of your house simple tip don't sit inside your house all the time pandemic situation when you go out put that mask and uh, 
probably wear spectacles why because it can even spread in air they were saying and don't try eating in restaurants and all that just move around right just move around enjoy the nature have some gardening at your home and start spending time with those plants or have a pet and some, something like that right that's the next tip right you can adopt a pet pussycat mouse uh, birds um, many people have many funny pets right and uh, dogs are quite common right you adopt a pet and then you will find little more relieved you you will not feel uh, somewhat lonely right um i tried all of this still i feel little lonely what do i do right um prevention is better than cure how to prevent how to prevent that lonely feeling despite of me engaging into all these things somehow still i have that problem there are three four things uh, which i would like to tell to help people like uh, these who belong to that category right trying everything yet feeling that that uh, you know lonely feeling is still there right get comfortable first of all spending time alone first of all don't think spending time alone for yourself is a curse no it is a blessing many people don't end up many people many busy people right business people they want to spend time quality time in loneliness and they would really want to stay away from crowds celebrities and all you go and take interview they will tell you the truth Oh, many people have to spoken or outspoken right they would like to spend quality time alone they don't get it that way you are blessed why what makes you to feel right see you all you have a pet you have friends and all that yet you are feeling lonely which means you have not spent quality time for yourself find out what are your interests therefore you tend to do those things um, uh, in in lonely environment to keep you happy and going right choose fulfilling and rewarding activities right you want to give more to the poor visit some slums visit some hospitals you will see people about to die lack of money not able to pay the bills uh, or some people have money but they don't have comforting words right you go and visit such people such places you will feel fantastic make time for exercise get yourself enrolled into physical exercise and you enjoy the outdoors these are the common tips and you definitely get engaged into all or either of this you will find that difference is what scientists are saying medical specialists are saying therefore it, it must be true did you try have you not or please try this is your day right i have done all of this hmm? went to see a doctor that's the disclaimer i'm giving after do doing all of this still you have feeling of loneliness negatively impacting it's just not convincing just not helping meet a doctor you need to meet a psychiatrist you can you need to meet a counselor right uh, you are you are whatever your your whichever religion you belong you will have a counseling section right according to your um, religion religious doctrine they will coach you help you and they will preach from the word of god they will preach from bhagavad gita or quran you you get it you you just take seek for help or none of these you you are an atheist please go and consult a medical a uh, practitioner or uh, a psychiatrist who's going to help right um so you need to somehow find ways to come out of it and it is definitely not something that you cannot overcome bottom line what i'm trying to say is i'm just concluding it in a less than a minute it isn't bad being alone or enjoy being alone but being alone when you would rather spend time with other people can lead to feelings of loneliness and have other effects on your mood mood swings sleep and overall well being the diseases which i explained some people experience loneliness um, in passing but other people may feel lonely for months or even even years with with no improvement right loneliness isn't a mental is it is not a mental health condition with a clear recommended treatment so you might wonder how to deal with it right overcoming loneliness can seem like a real challenge especially if you are shy introvert or find it difficult to meet new people some people don't like to meet strangers and i just cannot cope up only known faces and if that known people also break up no that's it they will have no one in their life so that uh, attitude you need to change but it's very possible to build new relationship or deepen existing connections in your life existing relationships in your life you can deepen deepen get to the next level don't limit don't be shy don't be an introvert don't have the hesitance right so if you aren't sure what you can do um, you know uh, what you can do to feel less lonely consider reaching out to a medical practitioner about which i have told already all right good i hope this session was helpful useful please comment 
uh, reach to us on the WhatsApp double nine zero double two one two one five two. You need any specific uh, topic, specific help? Let us know, and we will be glad to help you. Subscribe to our channel. You get access to all our playlists, and you will find tons of motivational videos being displayed on various practical topics right the topics which are necessary for our life i'm not here to give some pep talk or tickle you and make you laugh <laughs> nothing like that but to help you to walk um, uh, you know more strong and courageous in your life and press hard towards perfection how you can get improve the quality of your life this is exactly the reason why we started this series and uh, it is helping you is what i believe tata bye take care and I will meet you soon with the next session very soon. Bye.